Namaste. Welcome to Sacred Sunday Sadhana. Center yourself with your breath. I'm doing this video outside. This is as nature as I can get where I am right now. And so I'm going to invite you and ask you to just allow the traffic sounds to be there. I'm just going to allow them to be there instead of wishing they weren't there. I've worked in yoga studios where fire trucks would go off during Shavasana. We, we were right across the street from, from a fire station and uh, I worked in yoga studios with train tracks so there was train sounds too and I think it's just important to um, to cultivate that allowing of what is. Do you have a parent or a family member who is really irritated by rattling or chewing or anything of that nature? I grew up with a family member who would get so agitated with like the the rustling of a bag of chips or chewing ice or you know, chasing that, whatever was rattling in the car, it was just drive this person crazy. Um, and I think cultivating an allowance of, okay, that noise is happening. It really frees you up from creating uh, inflammation in your own body. And that's actually what I wanted to talk about today is I was walking down the sidewalk this morning and I thought, Look at all this trash. And I started to pick some of it up, but then I thought, no, I'm gonna go get a garbage bag. And, or tomorrow, I'm gonna walk back home and get a garbage bag. And tomorrow I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna clean up this highway. I'm just gonna start picking up all the garbage I see. And then I thought about how in the past, the old version of me you know we're always changing we've got all these versions of ourselves, and we're constantly updating and upgrading and up leveling to this newer more enlightened um, being hopefully and we take steps back and then we take steps forward Pema Chodron likes to say uh, two steps forward three steps back you know and then maybe the next day two steps forward only two steps back like that's a big improvement so I was thinking that me in the past, if I had seen that garbage, I would have gotten really angry with people. Like, what are you thinking? Does this look like a garbage can? Where's your awareness? Why can't you realize that when you drop it, it doesn't just disappear from existence just because you can't see it? I would have been like that, but you know, when we do those things, when we get upset or angry, when we're blaming people for not noticing or for you know really for anything but let's just stick with for not knowing better when we get angry with people for not knowing better does it help them no <laughs> and it also doesn't help us like these these Sunday sadhana practices are really about self-care and about just fine-tuning and um, really up leveling and upgrading our own inner wisdom so that we can live in deeper connection and uh, with more health and peace. So I invite you to think about that. Just think about whether or not there's anything that people in your life do um, or just, you know, citizens that you don't know that are unaware, you know. You can even apply that in a political way. You can just think about the way that certain people behave because they're ignorant. It's, they are not trying to be mean. No one, no one wakes up and says, I'm gonna be the worst person I can be today. How can I be the most awful, excruciating, vile person? No one does that, you know? Everybody's operating within their own level of awareness and their own capabilities. And so it doesn't mean that we need to stand idly by and let other people be victimized and let um, people be taken advantage of. But what it does mean is that we have to hold space for everybody. And the beautiful part of this that is self-care is that when you're getting angry, when you're getting upset, and you're just getting miffed that people are throwing garbage on the side of the road like it's a trash can, you're just creating all this anger and 
that anger sort of bubbles and turns into um, it turns into of course resentment but it also starts to become this like righteous indignance you know and like just list out the, the adjectives that you would like to be that you would like to portray is righteous on that list is indignant on the list is angry at things that can't change on the list is wanting to control things on your list probably not so one of the most simple ways you can sort of alleviate all of that is just by practicing noticing walk that past a piece of trash and pick it up or bring a bag back and 